Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Vishali and today we will learn about Pytorch binary cross entropy. So we start off this video by understanding about Pytorch binary cross entropy and after this we will discuss about Pytorch binary cross entropy example and then Pytorch binary cross entropy logics and after this we will discuss about Pytorch binary cross entropy weight and in the last we will discuss about Pytorch binary cross entropy force underscore weight. So without any delay, let's jump to our first topic that is introduction to Pytorch binary cross entropy. What is binary cross entropy? The norm is created which calculates the binary cross entropy between the target and the input probability and also used for calculating the error of the reconstruction. Now let's move to our next topic that is Pytorch binary cross entropy example. As we know, the norm is created which calculate the binary cross entropy between the target and the input variable. It is also used for calculating the error of the reconstruction. Now see the implementation of the binary cross entropy with the help of example. So let's jump to our Google Colab to see the implementation. We have already written the code here. Firstly, we will import the torch module and after that we create a variable and give the input probability and uh, after giving the input probability, we give the target probability. After that, we get the output probability. And we print the output probability with the help of a print function. Now, we run this code. After running the code, we get the binary cross entropy value. Now, move to our next topic. That is Pytorch binary cross entropy logic. Binary cross entropy contrasts each of the predicted probability to actual output, which can be 0 or 1. It also computes the secure that deals with the probability based on the distance from the expected value. Now see the implementation. So let's jump to the Google Colab. We have already written the code here. Firstly, we will import the torch module. After this, we create a VCE loss function and then give the input variable and also give the target variable and get the output variable from this and print the output variable from the print function. Now run this code and see Pytorch binary cross entropy with logits. Value is printed on the screen. Now move to our next topic that is Pytorch binary cross entropy weight. As we know, it creates the creation that measures the binary cross entropy between the input and the target probabilities. The weight in the binary cross entropy is iteratively adjustable. So see the implementation how our Pytorch binary cross entropy weight work. Now jump to our Google Colab and see the implementation. Here we already written the code. Firstly, we will import the torch module. Firstly, we will import the torch module. After the importing the torch module, we will create a function. And after creating a function, we will create a variables A and B and then generate a loss function. After this, we generate the weight. After generating the weight, we create a creation of sigmoid function and after this we print the function and run this code after running the code we get the weights you can see that the weight is printed on the screen now move to our next topic that is pytorch binary cross entropy pose underscore weight the pose underscore weight is defined as a weight of a positive example it must be a vector and the length equal to a several classes. Now see the implementation of pose weight. So let's jump into the Google Colab. We already written the code here. Firstly, I will import the torch module. After importing the torch module, give the value to the target variable. After giving the value to the target variable, we give the value to the output variable and generate the pose weight. After generating the pose weight, we create a BCE with logit loss and then generate the creation. Now run this code. After running the code, we get the value of pose underscore weight. With this, we have covered all the topic related to PyTorch binary cross entropy. If this video was helpful, please like this video. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Thank you.